Good morning, Quadcopter 101. Well, as you can see, the CX-20 seems to have survived uh, that impact. I took it home, cleaned it up, uh, took off the props, inspected the insides. Everything seems to be fine. Um, but we'll find out when we fly here. Uh, what I'm going to do, I, I did the compass cal already. Actually, I did it at home. I'm hoping that's good enough because I don't live too far from this flight or this flying site here. But I'm going to also do an accelerometer calibration. And we're going to do that right now before we, we even take off or before I actually go for a long distance flight. And to do that, you first plug the that on, turn the transmitter on, and hold the throttle while that's binding up in the lower left corner. And I'm going to move over here so you see the lights. Light should switch to orange and green flashing eventually here. There we go. And now I'm going to take it off and hover it for about 20 seconds until that orange flashing light uh, switches to. I got to unlock it to do that. To uh, a steady light. So I'm going to stand back a bit, bring it up into hover. And I got a breeze here, by the way. So, but I got to hover it. Try to hold it steady. And that seems to be it. The light is nice and steady now. And I'm going to land it and we're going to go for a flight. Okay. And after you do such, okay, I'm going to lock it, make sure that light's flashing, approach it, and then unplug it, and it's set. Okay, we're going to go for a flight now. Um, I'm going to rebind it to the transmitter, and also I'm going to let the uh, GPS calibrate, and we'll get go right into the flight after the calibration. Wish us luck. Let's go for a flight. Okay, I got a GPS signal. Um, we should be ready to go. I'm going to stay in manual mode. I have uh, GPS, um, but I'm going to stay in manual mode for most of this flight. We'll fly over to the tires in manual mode. They're off at about 200 meter distance. Well, I'm not sure if they're really tires. That might be garbage over there. <laughs> but we'll just fly over to that in the gully over there. And once I get over there, then I'll go into uh, um, hover mode, GPS hover mode. It's uh, zero one momentarily just to examine the tires up close and then we'll come out of it again and fly manual again we're going to re recreate that same route that i did before except this time i'm mostly going to be in manual okay let's go for a flight let me make sure i got the... okay unlocking the transmitter again i got a breeze today so i'm going to be fighting a little bit of a breeze here while I'm flying. It's flying good, even with that breeze. Let's go over to those tires. I'm going to keep this flight short. Okay, I'm at the tires, coming to hover, position hold, zero one. There's a wind, it's trying to fight that wind in position hold. Turn it to the left, going back to manual, pushing forward, flying in manual right now.
It's returning to my position now. Yeah, I'm going to increase uh, the um, pitch angle on this quadcopter using its uh, the flight control software for it. Oh, it's doing a return to home. I'm, <laughs> I'm at low battery. <laughs> I was wondering why it's not responding to my controls. Why is it landing over there? There it goes. Boy, that's weird. It did a return to home. I didn't tell it to do that. Well, what happened, folks, is that battery that I got in there I did not charge it fully. Actually, I did charge it. It's, but that battery is going bad. Um, I noticed it. It was, it's a swelling battery, and it did not like that battery, <laughs> in effect, and brought itself back home. But it thinks that this was home. Boy, was it way off. <laughs> it brought it back home and landed it. It's locked. But that's interesting. That was a return to land. It really had didn't have very good GPS uh, coordinates. Look how far away it landed from uh, the position where I took off from. But <laughs> very interesting. So when its battery gets low, this thing returns to land. Let me show you that battery when we get back. That battery is swollen, and it's it's really not holding the charge very well. Okay. Well, this is the culprit for today's flight. If you look at the battery, it's starting to swell. Um, it's just not did not hold a charge. I got to toss this one. And I did notice the, but I must say that I did notice while I was flying away that the lights might have been flashing on that quadcopter. So what happened today again is we flew over to the tires, and while there, uh, the battery power reached a point where the quadcopter determined it was time to execute a return to land automatically. Uh, that's what this quadcopter does. Unfortunately, the GPS probably did not have a sufficient number or a very good number of, uh, um, what do you call it, satellites locked on. Um, and that greatly can greatly reduce the accuracy. Um, you really don't know when you take off how many satellites you have locked on to this quadcopter. Uh, in this case, the um, accuracy was, was about uh, 50 meters. <laughs> it landed about 50 meters away from my position. So again, it's uh, if you're going to be flying out in the field or out in the sticks, and you're going to return on that return to the landing, um, actually, I think I could have overcame that. Uh, took manual control. I believe some people have mentioned that you can switch uh, the... Uh, the right hand switch up and down several times to regain control on a return to hand landing. I gotta look into that. Um, those of you who are out there that have RCX20 owners, uh, please let me know. Is there a way to regain manual control when it executes a return to land? Um, and one other thing I wanted to make a point of, uh, today's flight just goes to show again that, you know, this is not a beginner's quadcopter. There are issues, or, you know, when you get into higher complexity of these quadcopters, uh, there are certain things that can can and will go wrong okay and uh, if you're a beginner this is not something you want to be learning to fly with okay you can run into problems like I just did right there and that really I guess wasn't a problem it did what it was supposed to do um, but the accuracy wasn't that great but again uh, again I want to ask those of you CX-20 owners out there if it is on a return to land when it enters return to land is there a way to regain control please let me know or let let my viewers know okay quadcopter 101 signing out i got to go do another uh, video review of the v303 i got that here today too i'll see you later